What is up, everybody? How is everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG, and uh, it's time for another Times Power Remastered Booster Box Battle. Most of you kind of know how this works already, but in the off chance that you're watching my channel for the first time, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to open this thing up. We have six participants. Everyone is going to get six packs. We're going to open those packs in rounds of three, adding up all the mana values for the rares, mythics, and time shifted cards. At the end of this thing, the person with the highest total mana value and the person with the lowest total mana value amongst those are each going to get not one but two collector packs as prize packs of Murders of Karlov Manor. I'm going to set these off to the side here. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up, get some packs dispersed. Uh, in the event of a tie. What we will do in the event of a tie is we will take the highest mana value Mythic as the first tiebreaker, the highest mana value Rare as the second tiebreaker, and in the event of the third tiebreaker, we'll have some sort of fighting contest, jousting contest, I don't know, runway model, walk-off contest, something. We'll figure it out. All right. Y'all know me. Uh, I get excited every time I have the opportunity, whether it's for myself or for patrons. Uh, anytime I have the opportunity to open some TSR, it's a good day. We're going to give these a little shuffle here before we disperse some packs. All right. I think that's probably good. I think, I think. Okay. So, six packs going around. We have six for Bear Paw, six for JA. Six for J and B. Six for David F. And six for Slam Dozer. And last but not least, six for Ronzu. Kind of my usual suspects here, right? I, I have, uh, you know, it's funny, you do enough of these and you have people that gravitate towards certain products. And uh, it's kind of funny how, you know, Again, the usual suspects, the people that really enjoy this set as much as I do, honestly, maybe even on the same par, I don't know, um, tend to be the ones that, that jump in first. All right, so let's go uh, Let's go 3, 2, 1. We'll go 3, 2, 1. So 3, 2, and then 1. Good luck, everybody. Hopefully we pull some fun stuff today. Bear Paw, you're up first. We've done enough of these. We're going to skip past the commons and uncommons as quickly as possible to get to the juicy stuff here. Good old TSR. We are talking about... Pre-collector box. Oof. Right off the rip. Mythic. It is Living End. Hey, that's not bad. Uh, pretty good Mythics in this set. There's some definitely some Womp Womp Mythics, but uh, there are some pretty good Mythics in here. And, and this is certainly, you know, one of them. It's it's definitely middle tier. Obviously, see some play in modern. So that is a zero for mana value. It's Living End, but it is a Mythic nonetheless. Team or Battle Rage. And that is it for the first pack. I will sleeve up the Mythics. I'll try and sleeve up the... Uh, the uh, foil rares and or mythics, and of course, the almighty time shifted foil, should there be one, fingers crossed, we will sleeve that up right away as well. All right, pack number two for Bear Paw. All right, little Mighty Might Sliver, Enslave, Imperiosaur, rare, hey, there's a solid rare, very nice, Magus the Moon, still 10 plus dollars, I believe, really good, uh, really good pull. Good assortment of rares in here. Of course, like with the time shifted cards, it almost feels like you have a shot at like double rares. And then a hey, Tassiger, the Golden Fang. That is a uh, six for mana value. So as I mentioned, this is, you know, pre-collector box, pre-set box. So foils are special. Um, you're typically going to get one, maybe two foil rares per box. And uh, what you're really looking for is the foil time shifted card. On average, you're about one per box. Sometimes I've seen as many, uh, well, I've seen as low as zero. I've never had a zero box yet, fingers crossed. I've pulled uh, anywhere uh, from one to as many as three in a box myself. But that is pretty rare to see that many. Typically on average, it's about one per box. Rare is an Aeon Chronicler, that is a five. And then a Master of the Pearl Prident as the time shifting card, which is actually not a bad card in its own right. Okay. Oh, so we've got ourselves a two, seven, 8, 9, uh, 15, 18, and still an 18, right? 7, 8, 9, 15, 18, yeah. Throw the living end up top. 18 for Bear Paw. Okay. Some really sweet cards in this set. You know, Gemstone Caverns, Chalice of the Void, Thoughtseize, Yogmoth, uh, Urborg. Really good assortment of cards in here. Uh, that was three for Bear Paw. Yeah, so we are on to JA. All right. Delay. 
first one is Porphyro Nodes, otherwise known as like the Drop of Honey. First in uh, Planar Chaos, right, as the Porphyro Nodes. And Time of Need, that's a two for mana value. Okay. And uh, the multiplier on some of these foil time shifted cards is is definitely where it's at. <laughs> there are still time shifted foils in this set that are uh, above two hundred dollars. I think Thoughtseize is like still like two forty, two fifty. I think Ponder's like two seventy five. I've never pulled the Ponder as a foil time shifted card. I pulled Thoughtseize. Clockwork Hydra, sure. Rare is whoa. That's weird. Okay, sure. There is going to be some duplication, but I didn't expect to see it for the same person. So J, a., you've got yourself two uh, Porphyro nodes. And then a Palace Jailer after that. Weird. Sure. Uh, well, I've obviously seen one of the other good rares, uh, Magus of the Moon. Um, Swarm Yard is also in this set, which is a rare that I'm pretty high on. Okay. Third pack for J.A. Bonded Fetch. Fungal Reaches. Rare is a Stuffy Doll. Love me some Stuffy Doll. That is a 5 for mana value. And Beast Within, and we do have a foil back here. What do we got going on here? It's an uncommon, ooh, hey, foil delay. That's actually not bad. Again, foils are still special, right? You only get a handful per box in terms of uh, one, maybe one, maybe two foil rares, a handful of uncommons. All right, so uh, three, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Yeah, 16, right? 2, 2, 2, 4, 8, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yep, sure. Okay. Pretty awake, pretty caffeinated, but I also just like to make, you know, take my time. There's nothing more awful than not being able to do simple addition. Okay. Poultice Sliver. So we are to J and V now. Basalt Gargoyle. Street Wraith. Neat. Rare is a Magus of the Future. That is a 5. Pedlam Reveler. That is an 8. That's uh, starting off pretty strong. It's really uh, interesting. It's a really fun product to battle with as well um, because there are such swings. There's a lot of lands, like rare or time-shifted lands, so you can pull zeros. But there's also delve cards, and uh, so you can get some really interesting swings in mana value. Tromp the Domains. Utopia Micon. Urza's Factory. Rare is a Drowlnu, the Lich Lord. That is a five. Stinkweed Imp. It looks like do we do have a foil? It is a foil uncommon. It is a Fury Sliver. Hey, actually, not bad. A couple of solid foil uncommons thus far. Okay. Uh, again, you know, kind of old school, right? So on average, about four Mythics per box. Sometimes you get five. And if you pull a foil in there, there's sometimes six. So that can be a thing, but on average, it's about four. I just saw a really good uncommon. Pongify is in here. So that is still like, I think it's still like a five, six dollar uncommon. All right, J, uh, J and V, your third pack. Storm Entity. Hype. It is a mythic. Ugh. It's uh, it's one of the worst mythics, unfortunately. It is Hypergenesis. A really good card, but it was like already banned before the set was reprinted. I don't understand why it was an inclusion. Containment Priest, not bad. And a foil? It's a foil common. Primal Plasma. Plasma. Okay, and we'll sleeve up the Hypergenesis. All right, let's see what we got going on here for mana value. We have uh, the Stinkweed Imp. That's a 3, 4, 5, 10, 18, 23. 23 for J and V. Okay, and begrudgingly put the Hypergenesis on top. All right, David F., To you, 4-3. Riffwing Cloudscape. Keen Sense. Shibin Meteor. Rare is a Boom and Bust. We will add up both sides of this, so that is a 6-7-8 for mana value. That's actually a card I really like. I enjoy me some Boom and Bust. Ooh, hey, and there's a really good time-shifted card. That's Yogmoth Thrand Physician. Very, very nice. Uh, that is a 4 for mana value and a heck of a pull. I'll sleeve that up. And it looks like we have a foil back here. It's foil common white mane lion as well. Cool. Yeah. Snoop Yogg in the house. Let's go. All right. Nice. Good pull, David. All right. Pack number two, Griffin Guide. Sudden Shock. Love me some split second. Y'all know that. Whip Spine Drake. Rare is a Hive Stone. And an Itali, the Primal Storm, as a 6, and that uh, time shifted. Oh, Itali. 
Will you ever not be reprinted in everything? Unlikely. Pack number three for David. We've got Yixid Jailer, which is actually a decent card in its own right. Pendlehaven Elder, Mycologist. Rare is a Ith, the High Arcanist. That is a high mana value. That is a seven. And followed by a one, which is Ancient Stirrings. It looks like we have another foil. It is a foil common Sunlance. Good old Sunlance. All right. So let's add up some mana values here. We have a one. That's a eight. Plus 6, 14, 15, 16, 20, and a 28. Can I do that right? That does seem correct. 4, 5, uh, it's a, do, 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 12. I can do math. That's 12. 18, 20, 28. Yeah. Woo! All right. I do enjoy that about the time shifted aspect. So we're on to Slam Dozer now for three. Is that they all have the same rarity, right? The the, the symbol is purple colored, uh, which means out of I think there's like 122 or 123 of them or something like that, you have an equal chance of pulling a Yogmoth as you do a Beast Within. They're all the same rarity level technically. All right. Uh, oops, did I just put those? I did. Just put those in the wrong pack, didn't I? There we go. Wrong spot. Okay. Slam Dozer for three. You have yourself a Jota's Avenger, a Cauterary Sliver, Primal Force Mage. Rare is a Nether Trader. Hey, Nether Trader is not a bad pull. Okay, that's a two. And a Elvish Mystic after that. That is a one. That is a low mana value first pack. Yeah, straighten up these piles so I don't knock them over later. Although I'll probably knock them over later anyway. Into pack number two. Saltfield Recluse, Fire Maw Kavu, Dread Return, Rare is a Felonite Hermit, that is a 4, and a Lingering Souls, a 3 after that. <clears throat> okay, third pack for Slam Dozer. Here we go. Careful Consideration, Avon Mind Sensor, used to be a really expensive uncommon. Molten Slag Heap. Mythic is Krovax. Dang, man. Ooh. Mythics have not been... I mean, Living End is fine, but Mythics have otherwise not been kind of. Krovax is at least a 6 for mana value. Uh, Alright. And then a Feather Redeemed. Do we have a foil? Ooh, a foil rare. It is a Angel's Grace. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. Angel's Grace is a very playable card. That is the foil version of it. Pretty cool. Actually, probably has some value. Like, I think just the normal version is actually worth 4 or 5 bucks, so... A pretty solid pull right there. And yes, against my better judgment, I will sleeve up Crowbax as well. But Angel's Grace, hey, decent pull for sure. Okay, let's, uh, let's add up some mana value here. We have ourselves a 1. It's a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 17, 18, and 20, right? 6, 7, 10, 13, 17, 18, and 20, yeah. All right, Ranzu, to you for three. So we did pull a foil rare. Sometimes you do see two per box. That's not uncommon. Still at large is the foil time shifted. Fingers crossed. All right, Celestial Crusader, Haze of Rage. And we should be still alive for at least, uh, at least, at least one more mythic. Dormant Sliver. Rare is a Heartwood Storyteller. Followed by a Remand, which is not bad. Uh, foil rare. It is Kervek the Merciless. Woo! That is a huge mana value. Actually, I don't really, I don't know if I pulled a full Kervek before. That's kind of actually kind of cool. Let's leave that up. Uh, and that is a pretty massive mana value. So it's a decent start there. In pack number two. So we have pulled two foil rares now. Cordurge. Calciderm. Dole. Hey, there's a really solid rare. Very nice Swarm Road. I think this is still right around $11, $12. Pretty good. I actually, this is another card that I kind of wonder about with, with Bloomborough. I don't know if it's going to have featuring insect spiders or squirrels, but maybe squirrels. Abrupt Decay. It's actually not bad in its own right as well. All right. Good pull on the Swarm Yard for sure. Excellent. All right. Search for tomorrow, which is, used to be like premium ramp. Here we go, Thick Skin Goblin, Meyer Boa, Wipe Away, and a Mythic. Oh, there's a good one. Nice. 
Very nice. Congrats, Ronzu. That is a uh, that's actually a higher end mythic. You've got gemstone caverns. You've got sliver legion. I think Chroma's Memorial is the next up. I think it's like a $25, $30 card still. So that is a heck of a pull right there. Congratulations on that one. And then, hey, Path to Exile, which is a sweet time-shifted card as well. Nice. Very nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Wow. And uh, also some massive mana values. So 7, 14, 15, 16, 17. Still 17. 18, 19, and... Uh, 22, right? 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 22. 22. Let me write that down. All right. And a heck of a pull. All right. So uh, after round one, we have Bear Paul at 18. J.A. actually in the low with a 16. J.N.V. with a 23. David F. in the high with a 28 currently. Slamdozer with a 20. And Ronzu with a 22. Let's do two more packs. Bear Paw, back to you. So we have seen four Mythics at this point. So that is typically the box average. Doesn't mean we can't see a fifth. And uh, still at large is a foil time shifted, we hope. And uh, let's see some other gas. We've hit a couple of the, the nicer rares from the base set. So if we can hit some of those other time shifted cards that are also carrying value, this is going to be a real solid box. Rebuff the Wicked, which is actually a pretty high quality uncommon. Rare is a Glittering Wish, that is a two. Followed by a Dobin's Veto, which is also a two and a pretty good card in its own right. Chroma's Memorial makes me feel a little bit better because Crovax and Hypergenesis are pretty woof. Okay, Bear Paw, Sudden Death, Lanor Mentor, Time Bender, a fifth Mythic. It is a Vesuva. Hey, that's not bad also. That's actually a pretty good Mythic. Not bad, not bad. I actually don't really pull a lot of these, so that's pretty sweet. Zero mana value, but that's a quality mythic. Congrats. And then a Panharmonicon behind that. Uh, prior to, uh, what was it, Double Masters 2022, Panharmonicon as the retro frame was a actually a pretty valuable card. It's it's not it's not worth nothing now. It still has some value, but not, not quite on the same level. Okay, here we go. So, zero, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bear Paw, that gives you a 26. I feel like you are definitely playing for the low at this moment. All right. J.A., you were at a 16 prior. 26. 26 for Bear Paw. Sorry. Eight. I, I, I wrote it down correctly. I said it wrong out loud. That's a thing. Okay. J.A., Mystical Teachings. Cryptic Annelid. Lost Oromancers. Mangara of Corondor. Eternal Witness, and that's going to do it there. All right, that's a that was a six total. So we have hit five Mythics at this point, by the way, which is above box average. Minions Murmurs, actually a really solid uncommon. Faceless Devourer, Calciform Pools. Rare is a Summoner's Pack. This is a zero for mana value, but that's actually a uh, pretty good card still. A, a pretty decent rare. And then a Hedron Archive behind that. That is a four. So we have ourselves with a four. Still a four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That gives you a 26 and ties you with Bear Paw for the low. Although, uh, actually, I guess Bear Paw's zero. He has two Mythics, but they're both zero mana values. But that would still top a no mythic interesting that'd be an interesting way to win a tiebreaker all right j and v back to you for two brine elemental outrider encore crows and grip rare is a merganda petroglyphs four mana value and a hollow one after that that is a five mana value mm-hmm Next, we have Char a Rumbler, Enslave. Oops, Char Rumbler's not a rare. Get out of here. Enslave, Dark Heart Sliver. Rare is a Vesuvian Shapeshifter, that is a five. And a Consuming Aberration, which is also a five. And nothing behind that. All right. Pretty large mana values. That's five, 10, 15, and 19. Woo! 
That gives you an incredibly solid 52 JNV. That is uh, that is not messing around territory there for that playing for that high. I mean, again, you know, two packs of uh, Murders of Karlov collector packs. David F, you were previously in the high, but JNV just put up a heck of a two pack count for mana value. Lightning Axe, Poultice Liver, Nightshade Assassin. Rare is a Fungus Liver, that's a four. And a Vampire Hex Mage, that is a two, and that is going to do it. There are still a bunch of Delve cards out there, and one very large to spend card. So there's going there's to be still some pretty wild swings here. Alright, next pack for David. Shaper Parasite, Scrib Ranger, Dread Ship Reef. Rare is a Pact of the Titan. That is a zero for mana value. Not exactly what you wanted to see there. Corsair of Crufix. That is a three. So you have yourself a three, still a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put you at a 37 now and unfortunately drops you pretty far behind J and V. Okay, Slam Dozer. Have ourselves a Stronghold Rats, a Salt Crusted Step, Paradise Plume. The rare is a Slaughter Pack. We are hitting all the packs. In fact, has the only pack we've not hit uh, the blue one? I don't know if we hit the white one. Is there a white one? I don't know. Slaughter Pack. That's a zero. Young Pyromancer. That is a two. Yeah, that's uh, that's a way to play for the low. You were at twenty, so that's definitely kind of more the territory you're in. And after that pack, you only had added two mana value. Just thought about it. Is the white one not in here? Uh, you have my dryad, dusk rider, peregrine, calciform pools. Rare is a Tolaria West. That is another zero mana value. And followed up with a flicker wisp. But there is a rare, or there is a foil back here. Excuse me. <clears throat> it is a full common, Kelden Halbreeder. Halberdier? Yeah, probably that. Whatever I said the first time, not correct. Uh, three, four, five. Still five, still five. Uh, that puts you at a 25, and you have just uh, very stealthily taken over the low, Slam Dozer. After two very low packs. All right, Ronzu. Char Rumbler, Stone Cloaker, Harmonic Sliver. The rare is a Sarah Avenger. Good old Sarah Avenger. Very iconic. That is a two. And a Mystic Sanctuary. That is a zero for mana value. Do we have a foil back here? We do not. Mystic Sanctuary kind of fooled me there. All right. That was a pretty low mana value pack for Ronzu as well. Kind of feel like J&B just ran away with the high. And now everyone else seems like they're just playing for the low. I say that. And there is a bunch of Delve cards still out there. All right. Big Game Hunter. Riptide Pilfer. Smallpox. The rare is a Sedge Sliver, still pretty low, 3 mana value. Followed by a Bajuka Bog, hey, neat. Also a good pull and uh, a 0 mana value. There's a Foil Common back, ooh, hey, that's a really good one. Uh, Simeon Spirit Guide as a Foil Common is, is I'm pretty sure, a double-digit card. I'm actually going to sleeve that because uh, while it doesn't count for mana value, we do respect value around here, and I'm, I'm fairly sure if I know my pricing pretty good at it that this is actually a, a really good foil common excellent pull there okay and uh going back to the actual mana value so zero three still three four five holy moly yeah sure enough it doesn't put you in the low ronzu but it certainly puts you in the conversation and considering you had a necromas memorial and a caravac that's pretty impressive all right so heading into this last round we have Bearpaw with a 26. We have JA with a 26. We have JNV all the way up by his lonesome in the high with a 52. David S kind of a David F kind of a no man's land with a 37. Slam Dems are in the low with a 25. And Ronzi with a 27. This is wild. And I also would be remiss if I didn't point out that there has also been no foil time shifted card pulled yet. Uh I have a tendency to do this, and I Boy, oh boy. I hope it's not a zero box. Fingers crossed. Uh, these boxes, this time, this product likes to make me wait. I, I have on many occasions pulled the time shifted card in the last pack or second to last pack, 
I, I, I'd rather see one than none, so I guess. All right, here we go. Interesting last round we have lined up here. Bear Paw. Uh, there's going to be some delve cards that ruin somebody's day. That's pretty much what's going to happen here. Let's find out. We have the Rift Marked Knight, Stormcloud Jin, Necrotic Sliver. Yeah, rare is a Flagstones of Trocare. Ooh, that is a zero mana value. And a Nature's Claim behind that, that is a one. And there is no foil. So wow, Bear Paw adding just one. That gives you 27. That's pretty good. That's going to be a tough standard to beat. JA, you need double zeros. Because even if you get one, Bear Paw has Mythics at this point. It is possible. Gaia's Anthem. Chalcederm. Might of Old Krosa. The rare is Extirpate, which is also a one. Oh, Mr. Confluence, that's a five. And, ooh, we got a foil. It is a full common feebleness. Feebleness. All right, so that does give you a six. Unfortunately, puts you out of 32 and is going to take you out of contention today. Extirpate is a good card in its own right, though. All right, J and V. Kind of on an island at this point, my friend. A little Shivan Sand Mage, Cloud Cedar, Return to Dust. Rare is a Kirkheep. Well, that is a zero. Okay. I think somebody else wanted this pack. And a Farseek. That is a two. And still no foil time shifted card. So you get yourself a two. Brings you up to a 54, which is not insurmountable, but a still pretty healthy lead at this point with one pack. David F. You're kind of the only person that can theoretically catch, and it would take a really weird set of circumstances. All right, here we go. Muck Drub Salt Blast. Firewake Sliver. The rare is a Venser Shaper Savant. Probably not going to get it done. That's a four. And a Thrag Tusk, which is also a five. And that is going to do it. That is a nine for mana value. Gives you a 46, which is a valiant effort, but it's going to come up a little bit short today. Slam Dozer. You need also an insanely low pack. Here we go. Harmonize. Arc Blade. Sulfur Elemental. The rare is a Coalition Relic that is a 3. A Stonehorn Dignitary, which is a 4. There is a foil, I think. It is a foil uncommon salt crested step. There's a f that is that is nothing. So uh, seven for mana value. It's gonna bring you to a 32 and unfortunately take you out of the low. And here we are with our last pack and we did not pull a foil of time shifted. Sheesh. I suppose it was bound to happen. It's bound to happen at some time. You open enough boxes. Okay, Skittering Monstrosity, Spellburst. Crater Gargadon, that was one of the cards I was wanting, waiting to see, not wanting to see, waiting to see. That's a 10. A Ramunap Ruins is a 0. And, oh, there's a full of time shift card, let's go, last pack magic. Hey, Zulaport Cutthroat, that is not bad at all. Um, for the record, y'all saw me shuffle these packs. And I do it every time. I shuffle the packs every time. Some of my regular viewers, you guys can chime in. This is what? The third, fourth, maybe fifth time that I've pulled the foil time shift card in the last pack or like second to last pack of the box. I don't I don't understand if that's a gift or a curse, but here we are. And that is a really good pull though. That This is a card that obviously sees a ton of play and uh, that foil time shifted is beautiful. Ronzu, congratulations, man. That's, that's awesome. And I'm glad that we got one. Like... You're not going to win the low or the high. I, I don't think it matters for you at this point. That's that's solid. And you had a Chromos Memorial. Sheesh. Oh, I should probably add it, man. So you had a, a 10, 11, 12. This is a 39. I don't understand how I, how I do it. I don't know. Again, I don't know if that's the gift or the curse, but having to wait until the very last pack of the box to pull the foil tip and shifted card after shuffling, or sometimes when I'm opening the box for myself, not shuffling, is bizarro. All right. Final totals here. Uh, Bear Paw in the low with a 27. Uh, J.A. with a 32. J.N.V. in the high with a 54. 
David with a 46, Slamdozer with a 32, and Ronzu with a 39. Well played, everybody. This was a lot of fun. Let's hit some prize packs. We'll start with the low, as we tend to do. Bear Paw. Uh, are these pull tab? Yeah, they sure are. <laughs> Absolutely wild box. Okay. Doppelgang. Azoni. Counterpoint. Rares, no witnesses, as the extended. And a foil cased of the locked hothouse. Followed by all of the commons and uncommons. All right. Well, let's get all something a little spicier in this next pack, huh? How about you show us some mythics? A detective. Rare is an Axebane Ferox as a extended art foil. Sharp-eyed rookie. True identity. Connecting the dots. And an Outrageous Robbery, which is actually kind of a decent card as well. Nothing super crazy there, but some solid pulls. All right, Jane V, your two prize packs. Let's see if we can do a little better. We didn't hit any Mythics in Bear Paws prize packs. Unfortunate. Let's change this around now. So we've got ourselves a Thopter. Well, there you go. Borderless Foil Thundering Falls is a good place to start. These Surveil Lands actually holding up very, very well. So that is a good pull. Kellen, because why not? Mob Verdict. Unyielding Gatekeeper. Mythic is a hey, the the mole god Ansrag. Not bad. That's a solid pull still. It hasn't you know it hasn't held up. I, I didn't think it would, but uh, because it, it is like the commander, but not the actual. You know you're not really building around it otherwise. Uh, but that is still a really solid pull, and you got a Thundering Falls. Borderless Foil Surveil Land is not a bad place to be. All right, your second pack. Mythic Kylox's Volkstrider. Ugh. All right. Thank goodness for the last pack. Uh, Doorkeeper Thrall. Experiment 12. Treacherous Greed. And, hey, Aurelia. Not bad. Aurelia's a pretty good card. There we go. All right, not a bad couple of prize packs there. Picked it up a little bit. Certainly that first pack was the was definitely the, the keeper there. So, there we go. We have another round of TSR. Another fun box. Another fun opening. Had some drama at the end as that's kind of the usual. Uh, that is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button for me. And by all means, drop me some comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, everybody. And be well.